In the realm of dreams, a castle in the sky exists. One day, an interloper emerged from the shadows. He sought the guardian of this world. Her name was Rhyme. The interloper had wicked intentions, which the guardian foresaw. power was immense. But the interloper had a plan. He traps Rhyme inside a locket. With the Guardian now imprisoned, the interloper known as Wizmare now ruled the realm of dreams. We will challenge him and save the world. Hello, guys. This is Cosmic Trip. Super Cosmic Land 2. You guys might remember the Cosmic series, which I played, which most consisted of Cosmic games as well as pre-Cosmic games, made by Fierce the Bandit, who's a developer I rather like. He makes all his games in Flash, even all the way up to 2024 here, which is this latest game here that released like a month ago. It's a sequel to Super Cosmic Land, which we also played amongst the Cosmic series. I've played every one of his games, mostly because I just kind of like the cut of his gym. I don't know. These games are interesting. These games have their own personality. They're definitely adapting elements from some other games, Nintendo games and stuff, but they have their own charm, their own characters, their own things going on. And effectively, this is a sequel to another game. Uh, sorry, a different character this time, but similar gameplay. I believe Super Cosmic Land itself was basically a Game Boy uh, original Game Boy inspired game, which was black and white, much like this one. This should be an interesting game to check out. I wasn't, uh, I did the Cosmic series all in one big batch, playing all of his games together, but I was always prepared if he made more games to add them to the series. So glad to see that their games are continuing. So let's go into this. But of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner, but need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because it does help out immensely, and we'd honestly love to have you. Uh, we also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to have directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool merch. Links in the description. Check them out if you feel like. I also got Chris Oz and Fair here. <laughs> Hello. Um, hello. Yes, please join us. Yes. And hopefully the volume levels are good because this game is surprisingly quiet. So I have doubled Xplit's audio, but cut Discord's audio in half so that my stream doors do not talk insanely louder than the game. Hopefully everything's balanced well. We will see. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, let's see. Does, was there is a readme of this game, so let me see what that says before we actually fully begin. Um, uh, the days of read me. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. This is still a flash, a flash case game. I just love that he still makes a flash. But yeah, Fierce the Bandit. You can find him on Twitter. He's also got a itch.io account under Unknown Door Games. Um, so I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. And uh, yeah, let's check this out. It's really not much of the read me, so I'm just gonna move on. Oh yes, press A to start, which actually means right. It's a flash game. Technically, flash games can support controllers, but I don't believe his do. Keyword it is. You guys might notice certain vibes. This game kind of has, begin your quest, Young Dreamer. This game, I think, has slight Wario Land vibes, if I recall. The, you know, the subtitle of Super, Mo Super Cosmic Land 2, Cosmic Trip, has a very Mario Land series games uh, vibe. The freight air keys to move, jumping with A. Probably other moves as well. Now, I'd like to note, look at this artwork. Every game Fierce makes, the art gets better and better. This is maybe grayscale, but look at the amount of detail. And if he's doing a true Game Boy style, then he's only using four shades. I don't know <laughs> if he's doing true. I mean, you can count for yourself. It doesn't look like it. I think he's using more than that. doesn't look like but it. But you know what it makes me think of with having more shades? This makes me think of the Virtual Boy having more shades than four. 
Hmm. The Virtual Boy is a weird middle ground between a Game Boy and a Game Boy Color, as far as like its palette goes. So this makes me I don't know. Feel... It needs to be a lot more red. Well, technically, you can if you recolor it, it, it could actually be grayscale as well. If you do so, yeah, I, I'm joking around. Yes, of course. <laughs> if this was put into red, it probably would really look like Virtual Boy. Um, but yeah, Virtual Boy definitely had more colors, even if it was all one scale. It was more shades of that scale. If you ever looked at the, uh, well, the Virtual Boy Wireland game, it has some really nice backgrounds, actually. And honestly, this artwork is kind of making me think of it. Collect coins to stay in the game. Zero coins equals game over. I guess, are they working like Sonic rings? I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll see. Is that a dream catcher? Okay. Small coins, one point. Large like coins, 20. So far, all I know is how to jump. Hey there, Xerix. Thank you. I just got here. Who is this play of you? Well, you know, upper left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wireland, Virtual Boy Wireland, which, what was that game called for the, what was the Wario Land for Virtual Boy called? I don't just, know. Just Virtual War, Mar, Wario? I don't know. But we're monsters. I, no idea. I, I am completely unaware about any Virtual Boy oh. stuff. That's fair. You should play Wario Land games, though, if you haven't. I think I tried playing one of the ones yeah, yeah. on GBA, or the one on GBA, if there was only one of them. Yep, cool. There was, the so Wireland 4. The one everybody really likes, and that's the one that, like, Pizza Tower is based on and stuff. I like Wireland 2 and 3 best, personally. 4 is fine, but I don't care for the speedrunning elements, but I understand why everybody else does. 2 and 3 were more, like, Kind of stage-based Metroidvanias with a Wario flair making it all kind of unique. Oh. oh, what is this guy doing? Okay, this guy has a... Is this guy a trash bag? Kind of looks like a trash bag. I was told to avoid enemies, so I'm just avoiding the enemies. I'm not sure if I can even stop them. Oh god, okay. A trash bag with a pure mask. <laughs> Step key in doors. But why is there a down key in front of it? Sages out there, let me help you. Okay, Grandpa Doggo. What are we doing? Alright. White lightning. It's a wand. I don't even film. I think. Or a carrot. <laughs> I can attack. That's good shoot. We are now Mega Man. And we also have Kirby music. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just absorbed in the song for a second. <laughs> Very nice. Oh yeah, this is Kirby-ish music. This is absolutely Kirby. What is this bird? No way. So this is 100% Kirby music. <laughs> I love how there is a warning sign for the bird. Well, sorry, I didn't even see that. I just got surprised by it. <laughs> I like how the music picked up once I had a weapon. That's actually kind of a nice touch. Press D to create a temporary platform. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. There's some interesting mechanics we're going off of here. Hmm. Space key to pause. Nice. That tells me about controls. And that's about it. Boss? Oh no, it's... that. What? Why does it make me think of a... This makes me... Imme okay, the way it moves, the way it's doing things, it makes me think of, uh... Super Mario Brothers 2, American. Birdo. Yeah. Birdo. But also, yeah, it kind of has... All it needs to do is jump before it starts firing. Like that. <laughs> World cleared. Also, look at that castle. That's where we're going, I guess. 
All right, world two. These don't have names, they're just worlds. Okay, this is Kirby, but also the starry melody makes you think, Flintstones, where are the Flintstones? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, became a silver gunner moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that jumps hard. Oh wait, platforms, I forgot. I forgot platforms, right. I was just trying to do an edge jump. I could not. So I, I learned like how death works now. Is that I do like how they mark the pits, though. Yeah. To be very obviously, hey, don't fall here. I would prefer if I could hold- Wow, fuck! <laughs> okay, admittedly, that guy completely ambushed me. I did not see him. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> yeah, I do appreciate the pits being marked in case you're not sure or something, David. I wish you could just hold the attack button down and then it generate- No, he's actually proper- Oh, Vaporeon. Vaporeon. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I, I'm good. No, that's, that's a proper- that's actually- those enemies are properly hidden, look at that. You can still see them, oh, but- I can barely see to, them, yeah. yeah. even barely. Wow, there's one there? I wasn't even sure. It's not, I was scrutinizing- at least if you keep moving, it's not too bad. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> they are so hard to notice. I guess just assume they're under every tree. <laughs> Never stop at a tree. Just in case. They're quite the jerks. We are a very, very squishy wizard. One hit from anything kills us. Yeah. We have the Sonic Ring system, but also we get lose our progress every single time, too. I do appreciate the mosquito just get sad if he misses. I do wish they were a little easier to see. I gotta be honest. Like, Stop at our tree. Proceeds to stop at our tree. I know that tree. The very first one's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't. Nice coin trap. What a rude. What a rude game. <laughs> at least they are always under trees, if anywhere. Little thingies. Okay, got them. They look, they look vaguely like the viruses for Dr. Mario, whatever I just shot. Oh, for fuck's sake! There was even a warning sign. I just got distracted by the other enemy. I also thought I had moved past the tree. Like, I was like, I pressed right. No, I didn't press right enough. <laughs> Damn. You see, hit a checkpoint. Yeah, it's true. They force you to stop next to a tree, which is very frustrating. Like, they may as well be invisible. They're, they are visible technically, but... Arguably, they're not. They say you drop two coins. So it's worth it going after them. Well... Eventually, it makes up the difference, so... <laughs> These, I briefly stood on that coin like it was a- like it had a physical hitbox, that's weird. This game looks cute, yeah! Cosmic series are generally shorter, but charming games, especially as later ones. Oh wait, these these are straight. Ah, oh, fuck! I was gonna say these are straight. Aren't these enemies straight from Super Mario Brothers too? The flowers that stood above you and shot shots yeah, all over the fucking place. I, yeah, I, I hate those guys. 
I remember there. Also, a 20 coin right here is very reasonable, then. That means a full heal, basically. Or, yeah, because remember, I lose coins every time I die, so if I run out of coins, I die. Or die, die. You don't want to do that. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really. St Here's the thing. You know what? You want to know why I'm getting killed? It's because I underestimate how slow I am. I am. I'm legitimately slow. I have a bit of a meander, so I keep thinking, "Oh, I can edge out of the way." That no, I can't. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> to be fair, there was no way I could have known that until it happened. In my defense there, like... It just kind of was like, I'm just gonna stay- Actually, I'm falling. Like, there's no animation, if you notice. It just kind of was like, yeah, I'm falling now. Hmm. It is a little bit unfair, but I guess I'm getting played. Why? For oh, bird warning. Reason. Okay. For some That's reason, yeah. my stream has a bit of an audio delay. Aha! I knew, I knew that was coming that close. I an audio delay. I'm not sure what to say about that. Are you guys experiencing an audio delay, stream goers? Like for me, the the jump sound starts playing after you hit the apex of your jump. Yeah. What about the shot? Now refresh the page three times. Yeah, I mean the shot, the, sh the shot, the one shot would be the easiest way to tell. I, what about you, Chris? Yeah. You good? Uh huh. I'll okay. Close the thing and go back to it. Ah! I was, I almost didn't notice I was a tree there. <laughs> Are these tomatoes? I'll take them, I guess. Ah, I can only swap one platform at a time. I was wondering about that. Five! Why did I jump into that? <laughs> Are you- I guess because I was paying attention to my job. No. I mean- Is that his mouth skewed out, or is that a beer? Okay, to answer your question, or to answer your statement, I feel like the jump may have a slightly delayed sound, like, slightly after I jump, there is a little- the, the sound of the hot plays, but it's not so delayed that it's, like, a problem. Like, you seem to be referring to it as. Which is why I'm, like, pondering it right now. I got the five tomatoes. But now. Oh, I got 20 coins. Okay, so. That's all. I thought it was something cool was gonna happen because it was like cool Kangaroo dude. Or whatever he was. I'm not even sure what he was. <laughs> Good shooting. <laughs> Good shooting me. Coins do not give you much time to grab them. This is pretty nice graphically. I like I like how they've done with this one. Sad bird. Sad bird. Sad bird. Oh, it's a mosquito. Oh my, he has some... Okay, he's like... Okay, slight bullet hellbox, gotcha. Right. That's fine, I got this.
That's nice of the boss to go intangible during that phase. I do not have a lot of time to switch sides of him. Okay. Yay! There we go. Actually, took quite a few hits, that guy. Especially considering I'm a one-hit wonder. I wonder how long this game is. I'm gonna guess five worlds. These tends to make shorter games. Oh, a new song. World 1 and 2 shared the same song, but I was wondering if it would actually change. It did. He seems to have gotten better at making music lately, too. Every single time he makes a new game, the improvement is rather vast, I must say. Burp. <laughs> if you jump on Burp, Burp's like, I'm out of here, what the hell? Oh, bomb. Kaboom! I think there should be a secret down there, but I don't think so, because I see spikes and bobless pits. Strong wins! Ah, I see. Does that push the bird faster? No, it does not. That's good. Gotta say, the strong winds make this platform actually pretty difficult. Made it. Oh, it's time for tomatoes again. Oh no, what the hell? Time to go the opposite direction again. Just a little Indiana Jones surprise there. I know. Why they're not coming back down, I guess. It's a one-time Indiana Jones surprise. Indiana Jones I died. <laughs> Forgot where the pit was! I thought it was just right down, I had to sleep right. I was incorrect about that. I guess six words. What words do you guess? Hope you guys are having a fun time. I'm just kind of vibing. It's late. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to play the game. <laughs> if you guys want to add commentary, please do. <laughs> if you don't want to, it's okay. I'm vibing too. I mean, I'm just... Fierce makes... Vaguely Mario-inspired games, with original characters and stuff, but the graphical styles heavily homage Mario. But not to the point of it being, like, a ripoff, which I always appreciate. Yeah, this very specifically makes me think Virtual Boy Wario Land, which is very much an interesting vibe to hit, because I don't think I see a lot of games trying to go for that vibe. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is part of the Cosmic series, which is a universe. Like, all the games of the Cosmic series will have the same universe, even if there's different characters and stuff. It's like he's making a whole world, and it's a fine, interesting world, too. I mean, I think you kind of get what I mean by that, but just for this game alone. Because this game alone has had it's pretty interesting, like, enemy designs and characters, and I'm kind of curious about the main bad guy of this game. He seemed to have an interesting design, which, honestly, his design legitimately just reminds me of the final boss of Virtual Land Wild, Mario, uh, Virtual Boy Wildland, because it's actually a sort of similar design. Oh, did you see the fucking pro move I just did? Oh my god, you can do that, you can do that as much as you want. If you're perfect at timing, you can... You can you can only fire one platform at a time, but if you wait until the last minute before your platform disappears, you can hit the jump button and the shoot button, and then land on the new platform you just created. It's very hard, though. To cross technically an infinite gap if I use that technique correctly. I hope strong right winds. Not a good one. Okay. Uh, strong winds and birds. Okay, I made it. that jump. Water is a good idea, though. Oops, shit, 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 shit. Uh, that's actually clever. I had to use a platform here. Well, I didn't have to, but it made it a lot safer. Holy shit! What? I mean, there was a warning sign, I guess, but still. Oh, you're not gonna go until I go, aren't you? Uh... Oh, that was close. Okay. Lightning guy. Don't appreciate that. Lakitu. Oh wow, he has to, oh wait, hold on. He has he has a health bar. Hold on. And back. Hello. I must run for my life one moment. That was a good kill by Lakitu for a third time. Pretty much. Well, it only shoots down then, at least. I am not certain if he is killable, but I certainly like to try. Unfortunately, if I shoot him, I cannot see his flash animation showing me he's about to fire. <laughs> it kind of doesn't work, then. I mean, like, it's still going on, but it's now mixed up with the invincibility frames. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Ow, I... Foolishness. If I can hurt him, I can hurt him. Kill him, right? <laughs> Roll thumb? Mayhaps. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> this is a guess. <laughs> it's always a safe spot up with that platform, boys. Oh, gosh. That's to be killable. Why would he flash otherwise? I mean, the shoot, he said shoot and do lightning, but he also fights as well.
See, I told you. Though that took so many hits that they absolutely planned you to only be able to do that if you really planned it. <laughs> and you only get two measly coins out of it. I got two measly coins out of it. And Sal Satisfaction. And I got four, I got freaking sixty. What the hell? That's a lot. Of, that's a bit of generosity. Okay. Um, a little concerned about that, honestly. That's I love how, it, it yeah. just gave me three lies, basically. Suspicious video game generosity. <laughs> it's like when when there is a save point before the best portal. <laughs> <laughs> it should never be generous. It's always a bad sign. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the boss is. It's a ghost! <laughs> oh shit, okay, let's see. It's a mage ghost, my bad. <laughs> oh damn, they're a little more meaty than I thought. There's a skull in the background! Is. Seems like this isn't too bad as long as stay in the back. Just jump that last shot. Too bad. He's very far away. But any boss that summons ads is a little bit annoying. Wait, oh wait, the zombie! The zombie! He's a friend, okay, it's fine. Oh, he left, it's fine. We're all good. <laughs> Couldn't kill the zombie time, started freaking out. World 4, okay. I, I'm not sure about this this wall palette. It's kind of busy. What the hell? Gravity Man! I don't understand how you work, sir. <laughs> when do you zip and when do you zap? Oh shit. I didn't press the speed! Hey, what's that? Whenever he presses V! <laughs> I see, I get it. Also, I just noticed he's randomly very durable. Not lack of too durable, but durable. That's a platform that disappears after a bit. I should have recognized that because it matches my platform. Okay, this stage starts off with a bit of teeth. Not too bad, but got some, some tightness to it. Okay, so we don't actually pay attention here. Honestly, the death warning is too animated, in my opinion. It actually distracts me a bit. Figure out what the theme of this world is. It's like kind of fancy castle with weird vibes. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> I just kind of mocked myself. I love pursuing a one up only to die. It's always fun. Oh no, the whole level. There's no checkpoints. Oh no. 
See, this is a pro strat, because now I can get the one up at the beginning level again. Yay! Here's your life, you get a life. I clearly don't have a life doing that. <laughs> I... It's like Starry Castle vibes, I guess, here. Try to place them. Just a castle world. Yep. Just be a castle. Yeah, it actually does have some pretty difficult platforming where I do need to rely on my temporary platforms here or there. Also, I made this so hard on myself, but I just need to stand here-ish, place there-ish, jump, grab, leap. I placed them too high, that's why I was having so much trouble. Wait, oh, that's a quite a, quite a gap here. Really pushing it. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Spike ball. It went faster with threw me off, and I was like, ah! Wait, well, actually, I can preempt that now. There are a lot of, I will say, there are a number of, haha, surprise traps in this, in this one. Fine, though, ultimately. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. I have to do it twice. Yeah. Wait, are these killable? No. You know, they represented the uh, spark enemy from. Super Mario Brothers 2 and I was immediately oh, no. like, I can't kill this, can I? I was right, I cannot. So this guy gives me a life, basically, every time I collect this tomatoes. He's every stage. I wonder if it gets if I get say the extra if I collect all the tomatoes in every single stage. Without fail. I'm still trying to understand what is up with his face. He's he's a he's a he's a sneaky looking. He's like nah, -ha -ha, I think. <laughs> Do it. Actually, I guess I'm glad they're on the conveyor because I can sit out of the way faster. Yeah, level design. Okay, this is. When you consider I'm a one hit wonder, this level design is getting quite uh, aggressive. You know? I'm alive, so that works for me. <laughs> Give me. Well, it's good to rush any positions because they drop coins and they'll disappear very quickly. Rather, they're just for lies, technically. Even so... It's a good game, it just has some... 
Moments of, no, I'm gonna trap you and trick you, haha. Uh -huh. Which, you know, kind of supports the retro look of it, too. Oh, that, was that really a gunner at the end of a long conveyor belt I had to walk down slowly? That's very neat. Oh, what, what fresh hell is this, guys? I see. The fresh hell is I must keep running. I missed the coin, it makes me <laughs> sad. Alright. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, that was introduced safe. A new gimmick was introduced safely to me, that's good. Those spike guys would fall through the spikes, or just start rolling on top of them and kill me, anyways. Oh, fucker. They fell through the spikes before I saw. Oh, that's true, I should have remembered. I have 500 coins, that's a lot. Wait, oh no, Yoku block section. Proper. You're maxed at 500. Oh, nice. I wonder why it hit such an even number. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take the fact that I didn't die there and be happy. Never mind. <laughs> so I actually found the coin max. That's I feel good about that. No, no, this room is actually kind of complex. Requires a jump, actually. A small jump, or you won't get the right height. You're still going after the big coins anyway. Oh wait, you did just lose the light. I, I just, I just kind of died. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of. I did kind of need it again. I mean, not the safest one to go get for. Wait, who's this guy? I found a dinosaur. He's laughing at me. I think he's a dinosaur. I can't tell. Or a lizard guy. Lizard guy. With train. <laughs> Let me guess. He's the next boss. Yeah. Oh shit, I just realized something about this. Ah. This boss demands switching lanes, which requires my... Yeah, it's actually kind of dangerous. Right, this is a legitimately difficult... I lost. You have to make your own platforms in advance, just get out of the way of the train. It's not easy, honestly. I am liking that they're that they're putting the make your plat make a platform mechanic to good use. They definitely are. And he goes pretty fast, too, so, like, you kind of have to be ready.
It's really hard just to even get hits. Not exactly easy. Like, I'm just lucky my shots across the whole screen, honestly. There we go. I figured, though, it was a giant train. It probably has less or equal HP than the previous boss, considering how hard it is to actually get hits on it. Glad you can hit it anywhere, at least. Oh. Okay, World 5 has a cool song, and Dark Castle Electrics, I think we're here. I imagine. Hear that, or there's one more stage. Oh no, Birdo! Oh no! Oh no, Phantos! Oh no, Phantos! <laughs> knew it. Fucking knew it. Phantos. Okay, do I have to kill it? Oh, I do. I'm, I'm sorry, I fell so fast, I immediately just started running. Oh no. Oh god. I take a lot of hits. I thought you were freak. I thought you were freaking out at the Tonberries. Oh no, I, I freak out at the Phantom Snippets. Ah! I was ready for the bolt, but it came so slowly I couldn't react to it properly. The Tonberries? Oh, these guys, those yeah. Things... General Tonberries. Those, thing... those things look kind of like Doctor Doom Poops. Who? The, the Sniffit things. They kind of remind me of a combination of Boos and Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, I could see it a little bit. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Thank goodness this isn't, um, this isn't Mega Man so that you go off screen, the enemies don't respawn. Oh <laughs> shit, it's Marvel Man. Well, I almost jumped in. <laughs> the explosion was quite sustained. I almost jumped into it. That kaboom is so styled after the boom explosion from Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh fuck, I didn't see that. Oh thing. yeah, I noticed that. Should've been paying attention. Okay, this level... Yeah, this game has actually gotten pretty difficult. <laughs> a lot of I like this, it didn't ramp up its difficulty too sharply. No, the difficulty curve has been fair. Just... Very impressive given how short of a game it is so far. Pierce is good at making short nugget games. Spectre pretty close to winning now. February is time. I don't know if you know, but DPS is a lot better when something is not. It, it, when something's on the same level as me, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Oh god, those are just... Well, the spike... Those are the spike things from Super Mario World, except for this one's not moving, it's just in the way. Noted. Wait, can I... Oh! I just learned I can shoot the platform through walls, I did not even realize you could do that. It was required there, though, so... I figured it out! Annoying crystal ball. It's fine though. No, oh, they place this one in such a way where I have to fight it traditionally. Oh, 
Link's Awakening sound change. I can hear that as well. <laughs> Good. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, fine. Okay, there's a doorway that way. Over here? Guy in way, gotcha. Perhaps I can get in there. No, probably. Wait, who are these? Oh, they're fucking whiz robes. God damn it. in the way, yeah. That spark just fucks everything up for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, sheesh. Did you have to, uh, have to that? <laughs> okay, I tried to jump a little closer that way, but... Take them out before they take me out, got it. Oh, this guy's walking! He's walking! He's durable! I got him. I mean, he's just stunned, what does that mean? Let's stand up. Good. Oh, it's the mini boss. It's the first boss. Yeah, we're definitely getting this is the last stage, isn't it? Ah, uh, boss rush. Probably at least. We're also getting like weird face doors based on the meaning of taking this. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do a crazy dangle jump. Never mind. <laughs> Going back down for every spike ball felt tedious, but I suppose that's the safer thing to do. How hard do you think the foul boss will be? Hmm. Pretty difficult, but not terrible. I agree, I think it'll be a fair challenge. Mm. Clearly, he wants me to. What did he do? Okay. okay. <laughs> Clearly, he wanted me to advance a Phanto on my butt, but I didn't feel like it. So I fought it by going backwards. Oh no, I hate these sort of things. Don't leave no holding no punches back. Haha! <laughs> Haha! I have to deal with the spike section and immediately I get a projectile shooting bat in front of me. On the next safest platform. Very good. I think it'll take four or five tries to beat the foul boss. We'll see how many times it takes me then. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. 
to really think about, but uh, these guys... Dangerous position, especially considering this is, I'm one-hit wonder, after all. Ah. Yeah. Let me out. Okay. Ow. At least I need a checkpoint. You know, they use they require me to use the platform just often enough to be reasonable. But also like like often enough to make sense for the, the ability and need to use it for things. But infrequent enough that it doesn't slow down the tedium of having to wait for the platform over and over again. It's a good balance is what I'm trying to say. I was just a little impatient. Level layout has gotten a bit complex to put it simply. Very much a can't afford to make mistakes sort of setup. Being a one-hit wonder honestly makes a lot of games a lot harder compared to some games where you just can take a hit here now and then it's, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. whatever. Maybe I was overestimating the danger of the bat. <laughs> it's just this guy shoots in one spot. More Tonberries and a Lakitu! Which I might just have to avoid <laughs> thinking about it. Not quite. I still have to build a platform up. Out. Let me in. Okay. This looks like Final Boss. Yeah, this, this is probably Final Boss. I mean, there's an obvious boss story, but, like, I'm thinking, like, this is probably the last oh, one. Yeah. Alright, we're, yep, we're at the top. Thought so. Alright, what's up? There he is, there's the jerk. Basically, the main thing is just a wizard rope, technically. So, Realize that that's what he, that's what he is. He yeah, I noticed the same the Look, his animation, like... even. His even, even his animation is that traditional when they cast. Pulls. That was too easy. <laughs> I was gonna no. say, let's see what he pulls out for like a final attack. That apparently. Hello. Oh, I'm fighting. I saw if this was cutscene for some reason. <laughs> I can shoot up now. All right. Interesting. I'm glad that we learned the ability of pointing our hand upwards. Very good ability. Oh, okay. That's, uh... You know, it's to teleport enemies. Kind of annoying sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I'm now forced to always shoot up. Okay, let me assist. Oh god, okay. You waste no time once you reach the back to the middle. True form is a skeleton and, uh, and hens and a hat. I guess. God damn. I hate it when enemies are like, I'm charged with my attack. Oh shit, I'll jump. No, I'm not still charged. Ah, shit. <laughs> I don't know. Slow attacks fuck me up faster. More than fast attacks. If an enemy is attacking quickly, I generally react just fine to it. If I have to, like, weigh on delay, like, that lightning too has a delay, if you notice. I don't die this time because you. Because right now you can totally blaze it. This is fair, actually. I mean, time issues I have aside. Okay, there. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Phase three. Phase three, oh my. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, shit. oh my god, I wasn't expecting to have to deal two things at once. Oh, I see it. Two and three have to be fought back to back. Okay, gotcha. Well, you write the rules, I suppose. Okay, in that case, that's actually pretty tricky. Nice of them to let me skip the first phase, I guess. The skull is actually kind of cute in phase, in phase two. It doesn't look too intimidating in phase. I guess that's why there's phase three. He had to look better. He had to look more intimidating after all. <laughs> Oh, well, got that face quickly, didn't I? Okay, so small jump, big jump has to be done there. Or small jump, small jump. Cannot do big jump. We'll, we'll lose. <laughs> yep, there's a... Four to five times, you guys said? Well, escalation in Italy when you have to deal with three phases and you have one <laughs> hit the whole time. Yeah. Like, is it a particularly difficult boss? I don't know, not probably not, but like, when I have one hit to work with? Kinda. Enduring Spider-Man. Not much rigor room at that point. Oh, come on! I did the jumps, but I ran just later. That's a lot to deal with, actually. That is just a really nasty attack to get around. Getting through phase two quickly is a goal of mine now. There. 
fair. Did it. Shouldn't be hard. Is. Just kind of is. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, maybe if I did do a big jump, I would have just the rights. I wonder if one big jump would do it if I time it just perfectly. I mean, that would technically be easier than timing two perfect small jobs, so. Gosh. Only I could aim to the left and right and maybe take out one of the guys. That would be a lot easier for me if I could do that. One of the side guys. But unfortunately, I can only shoot up now. <laughs> Two jumps still feels better. Maybe, maybe for the second time. He goes the other direction. It might be slightly better to do a big jump for that one. I'm not sure. Holy shit! Two small jumps still work, but it was that was pixel fucking perfect. I don't know if you noticed. Let's see. Ah! What? How pixel perfect that was. Oh, if I jump in advance, it's way easier. I didn't even think about that. Ha! Yeah, that was, that was a reasonable challenge, definitely. Oh. Alright! Three faces. Are you done yet? Probably? There's the, there's the goddess, or whatever. The noodle goddess. Party. Awaken, my child. <laughs> the noodle goddess. The noodle goddess. Hi, Deoxys! Just have Deoxys. So, file score 3 out of 40. Could probably... So, perfect running... Game full coins of perfect running will give you 500. Cast, Bell! Okay, we got enemy names. Waddle Bud, Frantic Bud, Ninja Bud. I guess that's the name of the Goombas here. We got Mites. A little cutscene happening on the side, too. Cannon Bud, Spiker, Sprouter, Sprouter Pus, Crummy Crow. That's a good name for a crow. Mosky. Good. Flippy. Shocker. Bubble Fiend. Also Awaken. I wonder why we're awakening. Bandit Bomb. Thundra. Well, we are in the realm of dreams. Hmm. Oh, I see. That makes sense, actually. Zap that. Zombo. Woozy. Tricky. Balling, of course. What a baller. Bomb Hoodlum. Crate Carter. We do be balling. Waddle Butt XL. Ninja Butt XL. Whistly. <laughs> Palace Guard. Armor Guard, sir. Sure. Bosses. Foozy. I think we turned to that planet in the background. Big Mosky. Mr. C. Reaper. Ag Agatha. Agatha is the trade driver, okay. And Whizbear. And Whizbear <laughs> number two. Oh, yes, Whizbear number three. Yeah, look at that. Turns out I was right. Oh, the Coin Bishop, by the way, is the Kangaroo guy. And Wise Herbert. And rhyme. Oh, I see the guy now. That's his nose. Not his nose. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to discover this. I was really confused why you were confused. Actually, I wasn't sure what the what the confusion detail was. Oh, that was that was fun though. Honestly, thank you for thank you, player. Your quest is over. But can you beat the game of a five hundred max score? I'm sure I'll get a different insight if I do. But I also do not care that much. <laughs> Because, I mean, like, why, why, play the entire game over has no changes. It's literally just, can I have 500 coins at the end of the game? And then not die <laughs> once. And then if I die once, that entire run is invalidated. No. I'm not interested in that, but... That was Super Cosmic Land 2 Cosmic Trip. Just as I thought. A short, compact, entertaining little adventure. Every time Fierce makes a game, it's better than his last one. I've noticed a consistent upturn in quality. So every time we play another Cosmic Series game... It'll probably be better than last time, so 
yeah, that was fun. I had a good time with this. Uh, I hope you guys hey. did as well. Because I don't know, just they're just they're not huge, heavy, particularly noteworthy experiences. Even even they're just they're just solid and just nice little nuggets. They, they do literally feel like a, a game you get on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. You know, you wouldn't expect it to be an epic that lasts you forty hours, but maybe saying that would be good on a card right. Back after we're not on a card right, unless you're watching this. Auto card right on your phone or something, but uh, all the same, I hope you liked it. That was fun, honestly, and I'll, I'll keep it out for more games from Fierce because he typically releases something like every year to a year and a half. So yeah, we'll probably be doing more Cosmic series in the future. But uh, for now, that was the end of this particular game. We'll see what comes in the future. I'll see you guys at another time, another trip. Bye. See y'all.